Hey, 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 Instagram. Y'all miss me? You have to miss me, huh? I know, I missed y'all too. We took some time off from where they at Wednesday to regroup, revamp, and then, you know, I have my own businesses in life I'm trying to run. So it's been a little, little, been on a little break, but I hope you all have been well. Um, again, for those of you who are new, for those of you who are not new, hey again. For those of you who are new, I am Tay, founder of Go Go Glam, Miss Tay's Good Hair Day, Tomorrow's Mobile Notary. Um, and this is Where Day at Wednesday. This is the time that I take to uh, speak with a business owner, an entrepreneur in my network, and we talk about where they at, like where we can find their goods and services, um, talk about their journey as an entrepreneur, talk about, you know, what they have to offer and how you can find them. Um, today, we have my girl. Okay, this is my girl. Hey, Mike, this is my girl, Kelly Reed Beard of Kelly's Confections. She is dope so she's a baker she's a cook she's a mom she's a friend she's one of my close friends actually and um she i don't even eat sweets if you guys know me i don't eat sweets all of this comes from you know potatoes and rice and stuff but even though i don't eat sweets i eat her sweets and she just she just does a lot like this is her art. This is her outlet. This is um, her business. And she's done a lot of stuff. Um, hey, y'all. She's done a lot of um, sold a lot of goods to people that I know, of course, because I'm always sharing people. Great quality. Fantastic. And we're going to talk to her as soon as she comes on. Wait a little bit more for a few more people. Hey, Queen Cali Curls. Follow Queen Cali Curls. She's also the owner of, um, she's a partner of Resource Music Management. She is owner of, um, excuse me. She also has a nonprofit project face to face, which I am a sponsor every year of their annual toy giveaway. And she also is the owner of Panisi Publishing. Tap in with her. There's a lot of great people tuning in. Tim the Taylor, fantastic producer, songwriter, engineer. You guys tap in with him, follow him. Make sure you guys follow these people that I have on here so you can stay up on what they have going on. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, I'll go ahead and repeat myself. I am Tay. This is Where They At Wednesday, and this is the time I take to talk to an entrepreneur or a business owner in my network. Um, and you guys can find out where they at, how to go find their goods and services, what they have going on, stay in the loop, you know, build your Rolodex, send referrals, you know, you just never know. Where is Kelly? Hi, Mike, all the way from London. Yes. How you doing, handsome? I'm heck of flirting, huh? <laughs> Hey Lex, Lex Style, she's a stylist down in Southern California. Hey boo. All right, where's Kelly? <laughs> hey Nadine, follow Nadine also. She is an artist. She has um, merchandise with her handmade art on it. It's beautiful stuff. Make sure you guys follow her too. Follow these people. These are good people to have uh, stay in contact with. Okay. Um, I know that a lot of the time during these lives, people have some questions. I'm going to try to get to them um, either during the live or I'll wait until after, depending on the, how the conversation goes. Okay. Oh, and there's Kelly. Yay. The lady of the hour. Let's go ahead and add her in. Go ahead and tap that you accept the request, Kel. Hey, beautiful. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I know you've been busy this morning. Good. How about yourself? Pretty good. You know, preparing to share you a little platform here. Right. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to reintroduce her. This is Kelly of Kelly Kelly's Confections. She is a baker, a cook a mom, a friend, an overall 
dope person. Thank you, Deja May. Love you, baby. <laughs> um, and we're going to talk about her and her business, how you can find her goods and services so y'all can know where she at on this Where They At Wednesday. Thank you all for tuning back in. I know we took a break, but um, it's worth it. This first quarter, we are packed with a lot of fantastic people, starting with my girl, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I kind of gave you an introduction, and that's how I would introduce you. When you encounter people who don't know who you are and what you do, why don't you share that introduction with others? Okay. So <clears throat> hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kelly, and um, I run Kelly's Confection. Um, I've been doing this business for seven years. Um, it's all out of love. I, um, had to reinvent myself a long time ago and this is how I did it. And it's my true passion and I love to share it with people. That's awesome. Something you just said, I had to reinvent myself. Crazy. I just had a conversation last night with a friend while I was up late toiling and was talking about how in this season right now, um, we're, we're not necessarily starting over, although sometimes we feel like it as people, but we're starting again with experience and like shifting our perspective. When you say that you had to reinvent yourself, what did that mean to you? Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> I was in a relationship where the person was a super um, introvert. And me being an extrovert, and always having big dreams and aspirations of going somewhere with myself, I tried to figure out what I could do to make him comfortable in the situation, not feel like he wasn't part. Anyways, it's, it's a lot of whatever, but bottom line is uh, at the end of the day, I almost didn't go through with it. And uh, I decided that, uh, that I love this more than anything else. So I just went with that. Yeah. Um, baking is very therapeutic. Um, it makes me happy. I've been doing it a long time. Um, uh, being a product of a single mom household um, and my mom never really being around, that's all I had was baking. I had the cookbook and found a recipe and we made it. Mm -hmm. And so with that, you know, we bring together people, you bring together all kinds of things. And don't even get me started when I do weddings, because that's really bringing together a union of people. And it brings me joy to be able to give that uh, kind of joy to people for birthdays, baby showers, um, any kind of celebration, really. You know what, that passion that I just heard, this is the passion that... Um keeps people encouraged to keep going, you know, you know, as an entrepreneur, as a mom yourself, and even how you just got started um, baking, like you said, when you were younger, it started kind of like as an outlet. And then you start to see, ooh, this feels really good. And then it's like, ooh, it doesn't just feel good to me. This feels good to other people too. Like, I want to share this, you know, and to be able to monetize it, that's all the more, <laughs> all the more bring it on, baby. <laughs> so um, you mentioned that you do weddings. And I also noticed that on your Instagram that you've been promoting some other kind of events like bake sales and things like that. I know that you made my birthday cake and it was absolute. Okay. Sidebar. My birthday cake a few years ago, I told y'all I don't eat sweets and I shared this with the whole dang on quarter milk. <laughs> she made this cake. She didn't tell me. She was like, I'm going to make your cake for your birthday. That's what I'm going to gift you because I told you that's my power. And <laughs> she wouldn't let me. She just asked me what kind of cake I wanted. And she was like, I'm going to surprise you with how I'm going to decorate it. She was trying to embody me in the decoration. Bruh. She had a sister on the front with this big curly hair. I know my hair is straight today, but you guys already know. I love <laughs> my curls. I'm a hairdresser. I love natural hair. She had this sister on the front, and then my favorite color is blue. My um, birthstone is sapphire. She had the blue and the sister with the curls on there. And not only was it beautiful, it was delicious. Like, some of these cakes 
are like the fancy ones that look like things. They're really pretty and really nasty. <laughs> and that is not the case when you get something from Kelly's Confections. I'm not pumping this up. Um, so birthdays, you also did my cousin's uh, baby shower. That was a really beautiful, delicious cake. You also did that same baby's first birthday. <laughs> um, and that's just a few from my friends. So um, what other kind of events or specialty um, goods do you do? Everything, actually. Let's go back inside, shall we? So I do a little bit of everything. Yes, Corinne, um, she's the one who made my birthday cake with the curls on it when we were at the club that I sang at. Yeah. <laughs> so I also make I um, I also make edibles on a side note. Um, I don't just do cakes. I do cookies, pies. Uh, my specialty on pies is sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. um, I do all kinds of bars. I do. I'm actually about to promote a bake sale coming up soon where I'll be selling um, peanut brittle and. Um, pear tart Ooh. and a few other items and some red velvet cupcakes um i got the hot cocoa bombs going right now which are really popular with the chai bomb ones also um and valentine's day is coming up so if you want to place your valentine's day order i suggest <laughs> you hop on that train because it's gonna go quick cashly cashly banks come out Ooh, edibles <laughs> <laughs> yes some of my faves um, oh and see she said it was bomb both visual and taste hella good see I told y'all I don't Thank you. see let me tell you something about me while I'm telling you something about her I don't tell lies I'm not good at it I don't try if I tell you she's the bomb she's the freaking bomb so we have cakes we have pies we have bars. Oh, some of my favorite bars that she makes is the caramel apple cheesecake bars. Oh. That's actually going into the bake sale as well. Bruh. <laughs> Follow Kelly's Confection on Instagram. Stay up. Yep. Last name blessed. Agreed. You See, if you know, you know. And I need all of you to know. Follow Kelly's Confection on Instagram. Stay up on when she has bake sales, when she um, hit her up for uh, custom orders on her DM, and stay up when she has dinners. We're going to talk about that in a second. So y'all missed out. New Year's Eve, I bought a half crab garlic noodle and prawns dinner. <laughs> there are some other people selling some stuff, and they're good. But this one, <laughs> so good. So I know that you said you uh, you were, when you were young, you started, you were just there with your recipes. Is that when you started to cook more too? So you just, yeah, just culinary creations is your thing. So also my mom, being a single mom and her working for the state of California, most of the time she just wasn't home. So the cookbook was my friend. Mm -hmm. And she used to buy me frozen dinners, frozen pizzas. And, uh, uh, uh. So I was just like, cool. Uh, what we got? We got this. We got this. We got this. What's that? Okay, cool. We're going to make that. Mm -hmm. So between cooking and baking, there's, is, uh, there's, not, there's not one that I like more than the other because I, I have a passion for both. Right. Um, and I'm constantly growing in the knowledge and the things that I know in both. And so is this going to keep getting better and better? So there are some people who, um, who will ask things like, oh, what sets you apart? And there's room for everybody. But I know that there are some specific things that you hold as a standard in the things that you do. What are those things? So I'm definitely, um, I, I don't like to deal with um, too many um, items that are uh, full of uh, additives and preservatives. Everything is pretty much all organic, natural, non-GMO. I actually spent a lot of good money on a lot of good products. So um, if I wouldn't eat it, I wouldn't feed it to anybody else. Mm. And so that's, that's what I stand by uh, 100%. Yeah, so you uh you you pride yourself on quality. 
that's important. I mean, because anybody could go and pick up a box and be like, oh, this is good enough. I have never seen you make a box anything. Um, <laughs> I, I, and, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, um, I just know that in <laughs> Nadine, Kelly feeds my tummy and my heart. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. She's a fresh, fresh organic ingredient. And it's true. Like some people will say it. <laughs> But like I've, I, we've been friends for some years now and I've seen it proven over and over again. So because you're not a drive through bakery, you're not a grocery store bakery where they just pump out a bunch of stuff. Not, not that they're not cool, but because you make yours to order custom, what is the process or what is the ideal process of placing an order with you in the time frame? Okay, so for a custom order, I would prefer at least two to three weeks in advance, depending on how detailed or what it in, what it entails, because mm -hmm. sometimes I need a special order things, and it takes a while for deliveries to get to me so that I can make things happen. But, um, yeah, at least two to three weeks. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. two to three weeks in advance. Because right. once the calendar gets full, it gets full. Right. And so sometimes uh, you'll be like hitting me the week of like, can I get a cake? And I'm like, oh, sorry, you should have got with me last week because I didn't have anything. And now I have five cakes this week. Right. I totally get that. I totally get that. It's like it's similar to me in my calendar. It's like sometimes I'm, I can squeeze in something last minute. But most of the time appointments only and you got to give me enough time to give you the care and give you the attention that you would want me to give you just like I give everybody else. So I get that. And especially since you're, um, you're solo running this business. Yes. Mm -hmm. So everything is not only with the standard, but handmade by you. So guys tap in, send her a DM, follow her, look at some of the stuff that she has. She has a cake that looks like a hamburger. She has a cake that looks like ice chest. She has a cake that looks like some booty cheeks with a thong. <laughs> <laughs> cake pops that are, you know, I, I think the first time I tasted one of your, um, one of your treats, it was when you were still working at Fish Market. And I think you had like a cake pop in the fridge and we're like, Hey, just taste this. And I'm like, oh, I don't do sweets. Not really my thing. I kind of drink my calories. I'm good. Right. <laughs> and you're like, nah, but just taste it. You're like, it's not fresh, fresh. I think you told me like you had made it like a couple days before this cake pop was in the refrigerator. She had made it a couple days before and I bit into it and it was still moist. It... Come on, bruh. Like, I just, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not a sweets connoisseur, but I know that if I don't eat sweets and I eat her stuff, like, it just, it's just what it is. <laughs> fresh made whipped cream, all of her frostings and stuff, she makes fresh by hand. No box, no package, no nothing. You guys, follow her, tap in. Just look at how beautiful this stuff is and how yummy it is. Cupcakes. And again, happy stack. I call them happy stack. Edible. <laughs> um, she hand makes the stuff. She makes it herself, you know? Make my own butter. Mm -hmm. So I know that when I met you, you were doing this part-time. Has that changed since, especially since the pandemic and stuff has been popping off? I know a lot of us have been shifting. Yeah, actually, um, through the pandemic, my business has kicked up a lot, especially on the Happy Snacks. Um, and then when Cocoa Bombs hit the scene, I think oh, I had like over 300 of those that went out just automatically and it was only like two weeks in of me even promoting it so um so yeah definitely during the pen and then with the dinners too because right before or in between going back and forth to work doing the dinners a lot of people started buying dinners and so um stay tuned people whoever's online i can't see but um i plan on having more dinners coming out um, especially for Valentine's Day, I want to do like a couple's uh, theme, um, dinner for two with dessert, mm -hmm. chocolate dip strawberries, or mm -hmm. um, you'll have your choice of a few different items. I'm going to throw a few things out there. Um, but yeah, um, pandemic has given me room to grow and reassess and um, figure out what exactly what direction I want to go in. 
and what I'm comfortable with and what I'm not comfortable with. Um, so um, I would say it's a blessing in disguise, although it sucks. Um, but this is uh, the time to shine and time to grow and the time to get my name out there and do what I really want to do. So we out and here. Kelly's Confection from Kelly. My girl, Kelly, Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. Yes, yes. I am, I'm really grateful. Um, I also know that something about you, like just the heart that you have, um, it's expressed through the food. Hey, Will Davis. WD Mobile Notary. We got some people in here, y'all. He was Woo! also in here somewhere they at Wednesdays, y'all. Look at the other ones. Tap in. Find out what he does and where to find him, too. Follow these people. Stay tuned in. Turn on your notifications. You do not want to miss out. There's too many people after New Year's Eve that was like, dang, I didn't know she was making crab dinners. I didn't even... Roasted crab, <laughs> tech garlic, fresh ingredients. Like, don't be on the late freight. Do not be on the late freight. Don't sleep on me, guys. Don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> Don't sleep on her, seriously. Between, um, oh, another thing that she makes for me, because I like fruity stuff. She has, she makes this fruit tart. And only when the stuff is in season. See, y'all be wanting these things just as a good idea. But there is a reason why things are in season. When she makes my fruit tart and she has like my kiwi and the all the different berries, they're in season. So the flavor is just different. Right now, the pear tart I've been requesting is because pears are in season. Super good. And it low-key tastes like apple pie, but it's not squishy. It's I'm excited. I'm sitting here with a happy snack and a pear tart and lose my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, if someone wanted to place an order for, I don't know, I know you also did some holiday cookies um, and some some special some specialty things with your last bake sale. Um, yes, yes. You make people smile. What a gift. Yeah, you're definitely a gift. Yes, and the candy apple. Listen, guys. If it can be made, she can make it. But you have to know that they are custom made from scratch. So you have to allow time. If you want something custom made from scratch, then you're going to have to give custom made from scratch time for it. So if you don't want that, I mean, there's always Box and Safeway. But, you know, we have to be prepared. <laughs> Why do you think your business has grown in the pandemic, being that sweets are great, but not a necessity? Um, because uh, people don't want to cook. So that's where my dinners came in. Uh, people don't want to cook. They get um, a lot of these uh, restaurants that were open, uh, like the one I worked at, is now closed. So it's, and then people, a lot of people don't go out. So uh, it is, is this convenience. Uh, one, two, the happy snacks Come make first. people happy. <laughs> make people happy because it's a sad time right now. So, um, and then two, people are still celebrating birthdays. So, um, the only thing that sucks is the wedding got canceled. But, um, but outside of that, I mean, life is still going on. But like I said, um, when it comes down to the dinners and stuff, people they don't they. You, Oh, uh, you know, because everybody started cooking in the beginning. Everybody started hoarding stuff. Everybody started, I'm going to be a chef. Cool. And next thing you know, everything's gone. But anyways, at the end of the day, after they get bored, <laughs> that's where I come in. Um, as far as baking, everybody can't do that. So, of course, you know. And um, But no. Um, and also, too, I have a really good fan base. So a lot of my, my regulars, they just keep coming back monthly. Um, hey, can I get this? Hey, can you make me this? Hey. Can you make this? No, I don't know how to make it, but I'll I'll look it up and then I make it. Mm -hmm. So it works out. Uh, so I know the pandemic is it, like I said, it's been a blessing. Also, too, yeah, it goes all goes back to the restaurant shutting down. The quality of life and the things that we know are 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 are, are not the same. So you mm -hmm. know, people like I said, people get bored. They don't want to cook at home. You want to eat out. Let's be honest. 
this being a pandemic and having these shutdowns ain't stop people from doing the things that aren't necessary for them. People have a standard for themselves. They have habits. They have things that they like. And, and it's always been this way, recession, pandemic, you know, whatever. If you want that, people find ways to get things that they want done. In addition, I think you mentioned this earlier, now you have more of the time to accommodate, you know, because you're not wrapped up like some of us, you know, a lot of us, it's like, if the hustle wasn't in you, it can't come out now. So right now, the hustle and bustle of every day has caused us to sit down and to think about some things and to make ourselves available for our passion. Mm -hmm. So not only have people not stopped getting what they get and not stopped wanting what they want and not stopped creating an, uh, an avenue to get what they want, but it's also allowed those who provide those goods and services the time mm -hmm. to really create and to produce for their, their customers instead of being, um, distracted or busy being busy, you know? So I, like you said, you know, it kind of opens you up to reassess some things and, um, and to make yourself available to answer your question, um, Lex. So all of those things all work together, you know, people ain't stop getting their hair done. So <laughs> people ain't stop, people ain't stop doing a lot of things, you know, DoorDash is, is, I see DoorDashers all over the place, you know, people are still ordering things. Amazon, that's a lot of, I mean, how much, how much do people online shop for things that only they need? Be real. Balloons and decorations is definitely not a necessity, but, um, but is being sold when there's people. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You know, it's people living in the bushes right down the street from where I have, but it hasn't stopped people from getting the things that they want. You know, it ain't, it ain't left to necessity, but, um, like you were saying, like it's a blessing in disguise for a lot of us. It's it's frustrating, it's difficult, it's scary, but it's also shaking us out of our comfort zone. And and that is a beautiful thing because it's time definitely, out for stuff. Definitely for that. Uh, I had to put on my big girl panties and, and get out there. And it's it's been awesome, actually. I Because it's like you never know how far you can go Later. until you put yourself to the limit. And you just keep pushing, you know, just keep going and just keep going. Mm -hmm. Larry's another person you guys need to follow, the Waterboy 510, um, Hella Hot Sauce, Larry Lemonade, and Aqua Fresh Water. Follow these people that are on here, guys. Follow each other. Okay, tap in and make sure you follow Kelly's confection. Okay, make sure you follow her. Um, pickups and deliveries. Sometimes that's difficult. This whole thing. Um, you can do. I, mm, I ain't never seen you drop nothing on nobody's floor on the doorstep like DoorDash do. But <laughs> I know that you deliver safely when people request it or they can come and pick it up. So um, you all don't be afraid of that. You know, there's there's definitely precautions taken. Kelly is trained. She's been in food service for a long time. She has her, you know, she knows how to follow rules, regulations, washes her hands 85 million times. Like, gloves and all this 2002. Stuff. she's actually a stickler about stuff like that i remember <laughs> you remember when i made um i made something we were going somewhere and i was making like some some kind of breakfast sausage or something we were going somewhere and you saw me pull it out the package and wash it you know before i put oh. it in. <laughs> i didn't even know you paid attention to that and then way later you're like yeah i know i can eat your food because i saw you wash that stuff off and it's like, I was like, that was like three weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't play. <laughs> yeah. But I understand it. You know, like you said, you're not gonna feed somebody something that you wouldn't eat yourself. Like it's it's an integrity thing. And I think a lot of the time we get so busy chasing the dollar that we miss the integrity. So I appreciate that that's not that's not something that you're willing to compromise, you know, because the FDA will sell you and feed you anything. Nah, screw that noise. <laughs> you know mm -mm. you heard it first screw that noise <laughs> <laughs> so again you guys please tap in dm kelly uh follow kelly's confections she's really good at responding um be respectful of the time that it takes to do custom handmade um goods from scratch 
stay tuned in to her bake sales. It doesn't have to be a bake sale for you to request something. Um, but the bake sales is where she's highlighting some of the things that she hasn't done in a while or that have been, you know, high demand or she wants to feature. So um, make sure you stay tapped in for that. Stay tapped in for them dinners. We're halfway through January. I know usually for me, I don't have a Valentine, but I am big on Galentine's because I like deliciousness. So I'll be getting my Galentine's dinner for two or one. <laughs> so I haven't exactly decided what the menu is going to be yet. But Doesn't I do happen. know that the, those crab dinners were in high demand. And I apologize to anybody to get them. And if you didn't know, because I posted it and then I put it in my feed. And then I was getting text messages and phone calls like, you didn't tell me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I put it out there if you didn't see it. Like, I can't go through my contact list and hit everybody. But uh, to stay tuned, when I put it out there, it'll be out there until it's sold out. So um, I'll definitely be doing some more crab dinners. And there'll be Valentine's dinner, whatever that is. Maybe crab. Don't know yet. And, uh, yeah, we got a lot of good things coming. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. My palate 2021. is <laughs> 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 2021. You know, 2020 had a lot of janky stuff, but like we were talking about, there's a lot of positivity that's come out of it for people personally. If you, um, want to pay attention to what it's opened us up to be able to do for ourselves and for others. You know, it's um, allowed us to put things into perspective, see what's important and what's not. We've had a lot of loss and um, we don't, we don't have to sit in that, you know, Kel. So I, I am encouraged by you making the shift um, and choosing to prioritize certain things prior to prioritize yourself, your business to prioritize your, um, your personal growth and development and, you know, and prioritize your passion. You know, it's easy for us to get stuck in what feels wrong and what's not going right and what we feel like we're not doing. And um, it's a little more difficult sometimes to really dig inside of yourself and be like, you know what, I have to work what works. And right now, I can do this. I can't control or do a lot of the other stuff, but this is what I can do. And this is what I'm doing, you know, not even waiting on going to do. It's like, okay, step by step, this is what I'm doing. So um, also people, we get lost in our obstacles. Kelly is also a single mom, you know, granted her son is an adult now, but these are the things that she's been doing while raising him. So Sometimes our kids are not a reason why we can't do things, but our kids are a reason why we should do them. So stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. It's a beautiful thing. Kelly's Confections, it makes your heart happy, makes your palate happy. Um, moderation so we don't get too fat trapped in the house. But <laughs> <laughs> here and there and everywhere, you can do that. You know, it's a beautiful thing. So tap in. Is the best way to reach you on DM? Mm -hmm right now um yeah so for people uh, so the funny thing about my instagram is a lot of a lot of the people i know personally so a lot of people that know me through instagram contact me through text mm -hmm. a lot of people that don't contact me through uh dm um that is the best way you contact me through dm and then i'll shoot you my number <laughs> and then we'll go from there okay um, but i don't awesome. i don't always like to just be giving my number out because people get weird yeah <laughs> you know I know. <laughs> so yeah, DM, submit your request. Kelly will tell you the details that are um, included in your particular order, depending on the size of the order, the what goes into it. Trust her expertise. She knows what she's talking about. And you will not be disappointed. Scout's honor. What is this scout's honor? One of those. I wasn't a scout. <laughs> and I'm not a boy either, so I wouldn't be the boy scout. No. The girl scout's, honor. I don't know. scout's honor. Apparently it's honorable. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. <laughs> yes, local business, um, Bay Area business. What areas do you serve? Okay, so I'm glad you brought that up because I was definitely going to bring that up. So I'll I'll go as far as, uh, as San Carlos to San Jose. Okay. And if there's someone in another area, then they'll have to come pick that thing up. We'll work it out accordingly. 
I can always meet somebody halfway. It just depends on exactly where the location is. So we, I mean, we always make it work. Right. Okay. Cause I know that you've done some things out the way and everything, yeah. I mean, especially special events, weddings, birthdays, baby showers, like, there are things. So um, you guys heard it first, be, be specific, be realistic, submit your request and it'll, it'll be worked out. You will not be disappointed. Actually, to be honest with you real quick, a lot of the weddings that I've done have been up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So I will go that far. Mm -hmm. Got to charge accordingly, of course. But uh, but yeah, was, you know, it's, anything's possible as long as you're not all the way somewhere where I can't get you. But <laughs> Hi, I'm having um, a small gathering at home and I'm in Arizona. Like, uh, <laughs> I've had people do that to me. Really? See? <laughs> Requests all over the world. Request all over the world. But, but you know, also, too, so that's another thing coming soon. I'm going to work on being able to package and ship things um, accordingly. Uh, everything. So cakes, pies, because we, we're, we're expanding. We're growing. Um, I know people all over the place that want stuff. And so I want to be able to accommodate. So I'm just working on finding the proper packaging and um, stuff and make sure everything's food safe, you know, still cold when it gets there, if it needs to be chilled or whatever. And then we're, we're gone. We're ready. Yes. I was going to ask you what was next. So that's good. You guys stay tuned. Make sure you stay tuned for a little days. Yes. Hi. Thank you for tuning in. Um, mm -hmm. Just a little recap for those who tuned in a little later and you've never been on this platform before. I'm Tay of Miss Tay's Good Hair Day, Go Go Glam and tomorrow's mobile notary and this is where they at wednesday this is the time i take to highlight an entrepreneur in my network um and let you know where they at where to get their goods and services how to get in contact with them you know because one of the biggest differences between big companies and little companies is people know where to find big companies that's just one of them you know what i mean and little companies turn into big companies when they have us when they have a support group, when they have customers when they have clientele when they have you know, people that are willing to share them. Like, we got to market for each other. It doesn't take much. We market everyone else on accident. Why not market ourselves on purpose, you know? And so everyone knows someone who does something. Everyone knows someone who has something. Share your people. I'm sharing my people. You can share my people if you don't have people. And make mm -hmm. my people your people. And then we yes. all got people. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are here. Community, you know, and like you were saying in the beginning of our talk, you know, this is something that that makes you happy and it makes other people happy. It makes other people feel good. It brings mm -hmm. people together, you know. So even if it's virtually, you know, it's it's what it is. So we got to make it happen. We got to make it happen for ourselves and for each other. And I appreciate you being a guest. Is there something else you wanted to share with the peepers? Uh, just that there'll be more dinners coming. Um, DM me for happy snacks. And uh, yeah, just, just watch out for, there's going to be new items coming out. There's, I'm constantly going to be, I'm on it like bubonic. We out here in America trying to trying to make dreams happen and Come together like Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Um, and actually, really, real quick, uh, whoever's watching that that actually physically knows me and has purchased and supported me, I want to give a shout out and say thank you to all of you. Um, without you guys, my business wouldn't be possible. And this, like I said, this all started seven years ago on a whim. And from there, I just kept going. And I feel nothing but completely blessed at this time to be able to uh, make my dream a reality because that's what you guys are doing for me right now. So um, I thank you and I, th I, thank, I thank you all for blessing me. And I love you all. I love you, <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Yes. Yay. Well, and you thank, you, thank you for tuning in. Absolutely. Come on now. You already know. Don't start crying. I'm steaming up too. Stop it. <laughs> 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 We're criers. I don't care. <laughs> you guys, thank you again for tuning in. Ooh, no, seriously though. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in to Where They At Wednesday. I'm very, very, very happy. Um, 
that we're able to start another season of Where They At Wednesday. We have some really dope people coming up. I'm really happy, Kel, that you were willing to start it off with me. I know sometimes we have stage fright. People don't know, but I'd be nervous every time I come on here too. But to be able to see the face behind the page, you know, we see a lot of beautiful things on your page. And we need to see your beautiful face too. And hear your heart, you know. They taste fantastic, but, you know, we don't hear your heart on it. And so um, thank you guys for tuning in, for continuing to tune into Where They At Wednesday. Um, the only thing I get out of this is the joy and the encouragement from these other people that I'm connected with and just really feeling grateful to be connected with these people who are building their businesses part-time or full-time, overcoming obstacles, and just out here grinding. And now you know, when you tune in here, you found out where they at. Follow Kelly's Confection on Instagram. Stay in tune with her. Turn your notifications on. Do not miss these dinners. Do not miss the bake sale. And anytime you have an event or just a hankering for something, hit her up, okay? Custom quality. All that you, girl. From scratch from scratch ain't no box nowhere <laughs> no box <laughs> all right thank you guys for tuning in we have some great people next week tune in next week thank you so much kelly follow kelly's thank, thank on you, instagram okay love you so much love you bye, bye instagram see you next week Michelle.